Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the September 24 Love From Lizzie Super Card Kit. So in case this is the first time you've tuned in to a September kit with Love From Lizzie, I'll give you a little rundown. On the 2nd of September, was the, that was the dates that I started Love From Lizzie and that's going to be eight years ago in a few days, which is phenomenal. Um, and what I do is I release a super kit once a year on the anniversary to say thank you to my subscribers particularly because what I do is I increase the budget of the kit by quite a long way to fit in a lot more things um, and I don't charge any extra for it and it's my way of saying thank you very much um, for being part of the Love From Lizzie movement. Um, you can, of course, subscribe to receive the Love From Lizzie Super Kit at the reduced rate. Alternatively, they are available on an ad hoc basis, but for September they do cost a little more because obviously there's so much more within it. So this kit is has turned up, a, some of the parts have turned up quite late. Um, we did receive them today, so I'm shooting the video now. We've shipped out... The design team kits um, so they hopefully will be having their kits turn up very soon fingers crossed we have got christy marcotte of the best thing in life our pink guest designing for us this month which i'm really excited about very much enjoy what christy does with our kits and there's going to be lots of inspiration flying around we have also introduced our reward scheme now so if you are a subscriber to the love from lizzy card kit if you've been with us for a year, you now receive a 5% discount. If you've been with us for two years, you receive 7% discount. And if you've been with us for three years, you'll get 10%. Now, that runs across the board. You can buy past kits, special editions, the latest release, peel-offs, um, gift cards, any, all products in the Love From Lizzie shop have got that percentage reduction depending on how many years you've been subscribed to the card kit so um, again it's just another way of us to say thank you very much for your loyalty and for for keeping us all in happy crafty goodness um, we will be taking add-on orders for subscribers up to and including the 3rd of September at 9 a.m. mountain time um, we're doing it a little bit later this month because the first falls on the weekend and then the second, which is a Monday, is um, Labour Day here in Canada. So there isn't any postal service, it's a bank holiday. So we will be starting to ship from the 4th of September. And I'm hoping that on the 5th, um, we should be in a position whereby everything's all packed up and done. Uh, because it's my birthday. And I often don't make a big deal out of my birthday, but this year it's a big one. I'm turning 40. So um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be surprised with a day out somewhere or something. Who knows? Anyhow, you're here for the kit and I've held, I've held you off long enough. So here is the Violet Indigo Letter Love From Lizzie card kit. So there are two packages this month. And as you can see, there is a definite colour theme here. And what I'm going to do is I'll start with the A4 bag and we will work our way through. There have been some sneak peeks over on Instagram and there's been some guesses about what this could possibly be. However, because of the special edition that we released a few days ago, I think everybody worked out pretty quick that it wasn't going to be Halloween themed. So there are five sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock and they are super heavy. They're 300 GSM. So really good heavy weight great for bases also great for die cutting they're not going to collapse um, after a little bit of time on someone's mantelpiece and as you can see you've got four colors of purple lilac violet and then you've also got one super smooth um, alcohol marker friendly white sheet so they are your five sheets of cardstock i'm going to dip from the back this month there is also, having said, obviously we have the five sheets. We do that every month. And one of the one of the reasons that we've done it is we've always said that you can comfortably make 10 cards from one kit. So you split them in half one way or the other to be able to make 10 A2 size card bases, either top fold or side fold. However, it's a super kit. 
So we've popped in some additional card and envelope bases. Now I'm hoping that the camera is going to be kind and share with you how lovely these are. So these are pearlescent. This is a six by six inch card and it's pearlescent and it's inside and out. So if you don't want to use it as a card and you want to die cut from it or create mats and layers, then you can. And then you've also got a really pretty pearlescent envelope. So you have one of those. You also have a five by seven inch card. These have been super popular recently. They're becoming a little, coming a little bit trendy. So again, it's in this lovely pearlescent and it's a true snow white color. And then you've got the envelope to match. And then thirdly, you have got an aperture card. Now these are pretty straightforward to make, but they require a bit of extra cardstock. So it's just a really nice long card and the middle piece has got a hole cut from it. So what you do is you put your patterned paper or whatever it is you want at the back here, or you put your acetate or your lace over that. And then you attach this with glue along that inside edge stick it down and then it becomes a regular card but it but it's great if you want to do something that spins or hangs you can have it a little bit loose and just attach on one edge but that that is in regular smooth white cardstock and it does also have an envelope so this month there is the comfortable facility to make 13 cards so next we have got some foam now this is it's like a fun foam it's um it's not adhesive, so you're free to do with as you please. Something I've done historically is I've die cut my dies, attached this to a bit of acrylic temporarily, and then used it as a stamp. So you've got that as an option. These are also great for creating dimension and having it keep in line with the colourway of the kit. Um, equally, you can use it as a fun feature on the front of your card as well. So you get three half sheets, so they're A5, that's UK measurements which is slightly taller and slightly narrower than american letter you will also be getting an a5 sheet of vellum now this doesn't look like very much when you look at it on camera because it's a matte finish but the bit that's really cool about this is yeah please excuse my inky fingers i had a little argument with my printer um is that this is self-adhesive so you can create your die cuts um, or your window for the aperture and you can pull it back and then it's sticky. One of the most tricky parts about working with vellum is, the, uh, is attaching it down without the glue showing. So this is ideal. Um, so you get a sheet of the vellum. We have got some new peel-offs. This was one of the sneak peeks that I did. So this is the violet pinstripe with a silver finish which is so shiny and pretty um, again keeping in line with the colorway next we have got a card front size of a2 of tim holtz watercolor cardstock and one of the reasons i really like tim holtz's watercolor cardstock is that it is a true white Often there is a slight yellowing or a creaming with watercolour, so this will keep, it, it is true white. So there's one sheet of that in there for you. And then we have got the stamp set. So I had great fun designing this one. So what we have is um, the kit you will find out has got a very certain theme. And I was considering making stamps that match that theme hard. Um, but I didn't want it to be too detail based. So I thought if I keep the stamps like this, then you've got options. So you've got two wreaths here, which have got these sort of swirly roses. Um, and inside you can stamp these sentiments and they all fit within. So you've got thinking of you or my love on your special day. Thank you for all you do. And your friendship is everything. So really nice uplifting positive sentiments but also thinking of you that can be for any sort of occasion it could be on your birthday or it could be thinking of you on your special day you know this on the outside this on the inside so um we also have 
some smaller rose icons that are separate so if you wanted to create a background which is one of my favorite things to do and there is also this rose garland that runs along the edge plus we've got three little spotty dotties and here there is seven tiny little spotty dotties so they're great for creating um, a little bit of additional interest i'm just going to move this so that the shine doesn't make my camera jump and now i'm going to show you the pattern papers so this is the indigo letter and they're six by six and they're 271 gsm which is really lovely and heavy so you have the cover sheet they're all single sided so you don't have to choose and the um the graphics are all very watercolor and wash themed something that my mum would have certainly really enjoyed I think if she was a card maker because she loves watercolouring um, flowers so you've got a repeat design that's slightly smaller and then you've got these other designs that have got these really big washes and these lovely spray bouquets of roses and as you can see like this one can easily be split down the half and in middle and be used for two different cards but you can hear the got the thwack to them they're really lovely and solid and this is quite a muted um, repeating rose pattern another wash with a spray so again perfect if you would like to use just a portion um, but also um, yeah lots and lots of options and I really can't wait to see what everybody makes I've really enjoyed everybody sharing their um, to the beach uh, cards in the Facebook group and if you're not a member you must join it's uh, people are really lovely and we've got all different kinds of cards people use their own um, extras in with their card making and it just shows how far these stretch but as you can see they're all these lovely greens violets purples and this is that stronger tone so so very pretty and this is more of like a peachy pinky color so there are your pattern papers and last by no means least in the large bag we have the ephemera so i'm just gonna pull this open and have a quick flick through them with you there is a variety of small individual pieces which you can see here there are these little sprigs and sprays and there are some extra leaves and some individual roses and then there are some larger pieces as well so let's gosh try not to throw them everywhere so yes you've got like a corner wreath almost um, and there is multiples so you are able to link them up there is an actual corner you've got a lovely bouquet center piece there another kind of corner some little leaves and sprigs but um all different sizes so some are more some are more um effective if you like when they're large um, others you can duplicate up but this would look perfect with the sentiment stamped around it and one of the things that i really enjoy about these flowers is it doesn't really matter which way up you put them because the bouquet works every which way um, but as you can see there's lots and lots for you to choose from and there's even more in the packet that i didn't quite pull out but yes, so this is the embellishment pack, um, the ephemera pack, and they're really, really pretty, muted, muted and soft. And now we have the embellishment bag, which is absolutely bursting. Now this was one of the sneak peeks. I'll show it to you like this. It is a Winsor and Newton dot palette, and there's six colours here. There's raw sienna. I have absolutely no idea how correctly to pronounce that word and then violet sorry about that and then we have raw umber cadmium red hue hookers light green and intense green the raw sienna may seem like an unusual one to add in but a little dot of that and a little dot of that and you're able to create these really pretty peach colors so you have the dot palette and of course it wouldn't be fair to give you a dot palette without a water without a little brush and all you need to do to activate this is slightly wet your watercolour brush, tap it on and it looks like a very small amount but it goes such a long way. And they're, ju they're just sample sizes for you to have a play and see if you enjoy watercolouring. Then we also have eight 
roses and rosebuds. These are very pretty little paper flowers and they are dimensional however you can pull the wire out straight to have them as like a little sprig or you can bend them so that you can have the flower flat onto the card. These would be for the sort of cards that you hand deliver because they are so pretty and you wouldn't want them damaged in the post. But there are two of the roses in the deeper purple and there are two rose buds in that same tone. I've got them all caught up here. There we go. So they are the four in the darker purple and then you have four of the same in the pretty lilac colour. So you have these very pretty roses and then we have the ribbons. Now each month I give you um, five metres usually um, and then there is a dark purple, there is a white, an ivory, a grey and a lilac. But because it's a super kit, I've also put in a metre of flower ribbon, which is really, really pretty. It's very delicate and it will stick really nicely on the front of your cards. Um, and it is approximately a metre's length, so there's no reduction on that. Often the, um, the more fancy ribbons, we only put a shorter amount in. The dies this month are really lovely. So these are um, like a frame die, like an edging die. So if you've got a card front, you can die cut from there and then it will give you this really pretty edge. So you can create frames, you can create borders, um, edging for even actually on the card front itself rather than something for it to go behind. And if you got the eucalyptus kit from us earlier this year, this die coordinates perfectly with that die set. There was um, a square die with a layering die and this edging featured on that. So if you want to pull that one out, that's a great one to have on hand as well. Um, we have also got these super cute envelopes. So it's a little bit like vellum. So as you can see, you can see through them, but with a couple of flowers in there and perhaps the corners folded, it would make it look like a bouquet on the front of the card. Equally, with a spray of flowers coming out. It's also very sweet. Plus you can put little tags in here so that there is an interactive part. And there's two different sizes here. You get one of each. Um, but I thought they were really fun to be able to include. Um, we have also got some really pretty bows because again, to put on the stems of the roses or along with um, some of the ephemera, you get eight bows six bows my apologies you get three in this purple tone so you've got satin with spots you've got this really lovely grow gain and then you have satin with these sprigs printed on and then you have three in the creamy color um which has got more of like a border with roses on this has got a lace print in a very soft pink and this one is like a continual rose with vine style so they are the six bows that come as part of the kit and we also have some gems so these are really pretty all different shades of purples um, and you get four different sizes in four different colors so you have like a true what i would call a true purple a lilac this is like a cadbury purple like a really deep royal purple and this one's sort of like a wine purple so that, my lovelies, is the super kit. And as you can see, we've squished in as much as we can. I'm really interested to see what everybody makes. We have got another video coming shortly, which will share with you the recommended add-ons. We have already done the release video this month with our special edition and the products from our previous kit. Um, but we have got recommended add-ons that are gonna work really well with this. So if you wanna hop into the next video now, um, I will pop some still shots of this up for you so you can have a better look at some of the products. Please let me know if, if you like and if you're happy. And um, until next time, very happy paper crafting. Bye.